really glad that we could learn about the moon because I have a really cool art project that I wanted to teach us today. And I thought we would do it outside as the sun is setting because once the sun sets, you might be able to see the moon. From what I could tell, the moon is supposed to rise shortly after sunset, so we'll wait and see. But while we're waiting, we can make a moon mirage, or a piece of what some people call op art. So op means optical, as in optical art. We're going to make an optical illusion. So op art is making a piece of art that is stagnant or still, but it looks like it's moving. So I thought I would show us how to make something like this. And if you look at it closely, you'll see in the center, there's one of the phases of the moon. So when we make our art project, we'll be able to choose one of the moon phases to make in the center. To make this art project, we only need two things, a piece of paper, and a marker. You can use any color marker, but I'm choosing black with white paper because those are two colors that are very opposite each other and contrasting, so it will help give the illusion more clearly that the picture is moving without it moving. To start with, we're going to draw a moon in the middle. And this is where you can think about all those phases of the moon, okay? It can be kind of fun. So I'll start off by drawing a moon. And I think this time I'm going to draw a half moon. Now remember, we really only see half of the moon during this time, so it looks like the other half is gone, but it's still there. So I'm going to black out the other half of the moon. And once we have the moon drawn, we're going to draw some radiating lines out from that center of the moon. And I'm going to do it on roughly half of my paper first, so that on the other half of my paper, I can imitate it. I'll do that in a second once I'm done here with coloring in this moon. So I'm going to start with a line going up here, and there, there, there. Now I want to imitate the lines that are radiating out on this half of my paper, on this half of my paper. choose one of these sections to start and all that I want to do is make a kind of arc like this going up. And I'm going to color in every other arc. Now I'm going to move over to this next section, and I'm going to draw an arc going in the opposite direction. Connecting those lines to each other. And I'm going to imagine there's an arc there too. Now here's the trick. I want to color the one black that is kitty quarter from the one previous to it.
There, I think I'll call that done. So you can see, even though the image is still, because of the way that the lines are arranged and the contrast in colors, it appears to be moving. The other thing I like about this project is the way that the lines are drawn resemble a lot that Moon Garden sculpture by Will Vanerson. It kind of looks like there's long tubes that are maybe made out of bent metal. I wonder if the moon is risen. Let's take a look. Alright, this is really exciting. The moon has risen, but it's a little bit behind a tree. I'm gonna do my best to show you. Here we go. Well, I'm glad that we could spend today together. We could look at a sculpture in the park, learn more about the phases of the moon, make our own moon mirage optical illusion art, and now that it's nighttime, you can go outside and check out what the moon looks like yourself. Join us next time for another Eco Art for Kids. Bye.